okay so dear students good morning uh, we have seen in this unit so far the concept of international trade classical theory of international trade even the modern theory of international trade called as heckscher ohlin theory of international trade both the theories have uh, been successful i would say in explaining to us that how trade can become gainful to the trading countries in this context some good amount of uh, literature is developed later on and um, one of the masterpieces is terms of trade so dear students in today's lecture we will try to understand the concept of terms of trade meaning definition of terms of trade interpretation of the term terms of trade we will also see the concept called as a offer curve in order to simplify the concept of terms of trade and then if time permits we will see different types of terms of trade all right students am i audible to you yes sir okay so straight away we will go in our class in the screen give me a minute yes and uh, Is the screen visible to you? Yes, sir. This sir. is your class, and I have posted some material in your class today. It is called as terms of trade, meaning types and limitations. I'm opening it. <clears throat> Hope that it is visible to you. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, so. so let us start uh, from the beginning is it visible now yes sir yes sir so terms of trade what is the very simple meaning of the terms of trade see in a international trade you know that there are two countries one is exporting country and another is a importing country okay so when a country exports certain goods and services you know it earns foreign exchange or foreign currency similarly when countries import certain foreign goods and services it has to make payment for those imported goods and services so obviously there is a receipt of money for the exported goods and payment of money for the imported goods as well as services now terms of trade is one such concept which help us to understand the relative price strength of each other's commodities so terms of trade is a relative price of exports in terms of imports suppose you take one country india as a trading country say it is exporting one product say product x okay and it is importing product y for example so how much price india will earn for its product x and how much price it has to pay for the product which imports which is called as y and then a comparison of these two will be done in order to understand the relative price strength of exports vis-a-vis -vis imports so meaning is very simple terms of trade is the relative price of exports in terms of imports 
I repeat, it is said that relative price of imports in uh, exports in terms of imports. Is ko define kaise kiya gaya hai? It is defined as ratio of export prices to the import prices. Ratio. It is defined as the ratio of export prices to import prices. In international economics, certain notations are used. P stands for price ratio. X stands for exports. I mean price of exportables. And that is divided by price of importables. Is this matter clear to you? Px by Pm? Yes, sir. So PX stands for price of exports and PM stands for price of imports. It is expressed in terms of ratio. So terms of trade is the import goods and economy can purchase per unit of export goods. I have told you, if your country is exporting goods, it will earn dollars. Similarly, if it is importing goods, it will pay dollars. So how many units of an imported commodity or imported service India can purchase per unit of its export commodity or export service? That is basically terms of trade. Okay. So terms of trade, abbreviated as a TOT, is a measure of how much imports an economy can get, that is India can get, for a unit of exported goods. Is that clear? <clears throat> In simple language, we can interpret kar sakte hai, ki whatever product we export, say X product, one unit of that exported X gives you how many units of imported Y? Yes or no students? Okay. So, how many units of imported commodity we get for one unit of exported commodity from our country? That is basically terms of trade. Now, to understand the terms of trade in easiest way, we need to distinguish that terms of trade is considered for single goods, price of say X divided by price of Y. Suppose if India is exporting apples, price of apples and if it is importing oranges, it will be price of oranges. So price of apples divided by price of oranges. That means how many oranges India can get per unit of an apple which is exported by India. That is in the context of single commodity. Okay. But in reality, country exports many goods. Okay. Not just one commodity. Yen number of goods are exported. And n number of goods are imported. So dear friends, if there are many, many complex goods, composite goods, we need to understand not a price of single product, but price indices for exported goods as well as price indices for the imported goods. And then we'll have to compare price indices of exported goods with price indices of imported goods excuse me so dear friends while considering the definition i have told you that we will have to consider the ratio of export prices to the import prices and in reality as there are many such commodities we need to understand not single price but a price index or price indices of exported goods and imported goods. Thoda sa technical hai, lekin dhyan me lena hai. 
it is simply px upon pm okay for a single product like apple and oranges respectively but in reality when hundreds and thousands of goods are exported as well as imported we cannot simply take px upon py or pm but we need to take into account the price indices of exported goods as well as imported goods clear may i go yes sir yes sir you have any doubt in this regard you can ask okay let us move yes, ahead and see the next slide we need to understand a brief history of the concept of terms of trade pehle terms of trade nahi aaya pehle gains from trade aaya understand my point first came the gains from trade you are aware that there are number of gains from trade right i have told you that it you have access of international commodities international services you get uh, you know like foreign commodities or foreigners will get your commodities more jobs will be created in trading countries more economic growth will be there more development will be there improved standard of living will be there uh, economic exchanges will be there even cultural exchanges will be there so those are number of gains from international trade but after those gains the terms of trade was an attempt to measure the gains or to calculate the benefits from international trade it is absolutely fine if india is trading with another country but how much it is really benefited theoretically it is measured by using the concept terms of trade is that clear so dear friends we need to understand a brief history of the term terms of trade and we can go back to 1927 when american economist frank tosic frank william tosic first used the concept of terms of trade in the book which he wrote called as international trade that is the beginning however there is also a claim that there was earlier version of this concept existing and that can be traced back to 1844 when the book called as a budget was published by a british economist robert torrens similarly there is also an evidence where we can find lot of material and contribution by j s mill that is john stuart mill published another book in the year 1844 so this is a brief history of the terms of trade so three names you must know at least two names are very famous as far as terms of trade are concerned first is frank tosig in 19 27 and j s mill before him in 1844 is that clear to you yes sir yes sir so we have seen so far number one meaning and definition of the term called as terms of trade so isme dhyan mein kya rakhna hai aapko see you will have to you will have to understand some keywords like relative price of export in terms of imports i'll just change color of this so this will help you to understand and identify the concept of terms of trade so it is defined as again ratio of export prices to import prices this we need to highlight again so that it becomes more easy for you okay and always we need to understand that while considering n number of commodities it is price indices it is not a single price but many other prices price indices of exported and imported goods and then compared the two they compared the two okay so this is what about in the initial part regarding uh, meaning and definition 
and then brief history. Okay, let us go ahead and see one important thing and that is called as the offer curve. Okay, I have told you in a trade there are minimum two countries. Yes or no? Exporting country and importing country. In this diagram, can you see this diagram? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here you can see there is a one country taken on x-axis and another country is taken on the y-axis. You can see one curve called as A curve, OA curve. Hamare paas kya hai? OA curve hai. Okay? And there is a yet another curve, curve called as a OB curve. Okay? Isko thoda baju wale panel mein mein likhta hu yaha par. So what is OA? OA ka matlab hai, it is an offer by country X. Samaj mein aapko? This is offer curve by country A. OA is an offer of commodity given by country X. Uh, sorry, country A and the product is X. X commodity is considered on X axis that is from country A. So country A's offer curve is, sorry, country A's offer curve is OA. There is another offer curve you can see and that is OB. So this is an offer curve or offer by another country and what is that country follow oh, no. b country b. So b country is on vertical axis producing ex and exporting commodity y a country is on horizontal axis producing and exporting commodity x okay so o a is an offer given by a country OB is an offer curve given by B country Aap dekh sakte hai, diagram is 90 degree diagram yes or no and yes. there is a straight line originating from origin and that line is called as OT so that divides the entire diagram into two equal parts 45 degree this part and 45 degree this part so you can see that offer of both the countries that is OA which is an offer by country A offer of X by country A rather I would say and OB is an offer of Y by country B they don't know kaha par intersect kar rahe hai 45 degree line पर intersect कर रहा है मतलब जो X की offer है O X आप देख सकते हैं इधर तक this distance is precisely same as O Y distance so O X 1 तो this offer is O X 1 is exactly equal with O Y 1 Right or wrong? Yes, sir. Try. Therefore, friends, it is called as an equilibrium POT. Equilibrium terms of trade. Equilibrium terms of trade kya hota hai? Ki jo offer A country ne diya hai, wo samjho 100 crore ka hai, aur uske badle mein usse jo mil raha hai, wo bhi 100 crore ka hai. Is that clear to you? Yes, sir. yes, sir. So, this is equilibrium terms of trade. So, what do you have to do in the future? In the future, you have to do in the equilibrium terms of trade 
are always found on 45 degree line understand are always found on 45 degree line thoda sa aage chalte hain and dekhte hain ki how the terms of trade can become favorable and how it becomes unfavorable are you ready yes sir okay thoda sa aage chalte hain ek naya slide main isme leta hu and then i will try to uh okay यस समझो कि ए हमारा एक्स लाइन है ओके दिस इज बाय कंट्री ए एंड दिस कंट्री इज गिविंग कमोडिटी एक्स टू अनदर कंट्री दैट इज कंट्री वाई कंट्री बी तो ए हमारा वाई एक्सिस है right so this is b country and this one is a country okay one more line i will need i will take arrow for that and uh, it will originate from here say like this and i would prefer to call this as o t that is terms of trade line okay abhi uh, thoda aage chalte hain and uh, yes dear friends i will try this like this this is an offer by which country can you tell me country na this is an offer given by b country yes or no yes yes sir abhi aur ek offer lena padega hame and that is by a country it starts from origin and both intersect here and goes like this barobar yes sir this yes, is sir. offer by b country i'll make it red so these are the two different offers is this fail to you yes sir yes sir this is equilibrium terms of trade or not yes yes, yes sir abhi samjho ki the offer changes now see the offer changes and the new offer is something like this another line i am drawing okay and now i am taking another curve from another curve from country a this curve starts from here you can see it is going up like this 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 and this way right yes sir so इसको आप देख सकते हैं कि देर इज अनदर लाइन एंड अनदर ऑफर कप तो हाउ मच कंट्री ए वॉज गिविंग अप अर्लियर और हाउ मच वॉज ऑफर बाई कंट्री ए अर्लियर इट वॉज दिस मच नो दिस मच वॉज ऑफर बाई कंट्री ए अर्लियर दिस मच ओके नाउ द ऑफर इज चेंज now the offer curve is changed therefore now the offer is something like this sorry
This is the new offer. So country A is offering now only this much of goods. It is offering less. And in lieu of that, it is getting more of Y. Understand? Usko import kitna mil raha hai? Itna mil raha hai. A distance aap dekh sakte hai, jada hai. Mai isko dotted karta hoon, so aapko pata chalega. So country A is getting this of Y. Of Y, X. Yes or no? So here, terms of trade is favorable to country A because it is giving up less and it is getting more. Understand? Now, we unfavorable karte hai. We will try to see how it becomes unfavorable. Again, I am drawing an arrow or a line like this from origin. Okay? And see how the offer changes. Rather, I have to change this. Take one more. Suppose there is a new offer, new terms of trade like this. Okay. And see how much is now offered by country Y. Country Y's offer curve is now like this. This is the new offer curve by country. Country B, I would say. So, abhi dekho. Now, country A is giving up more of X. This much of X. Okay. And how much it is getting? It is getting comparatively less of Y. Less of Y. Yes or no? So, this is unfavorable terms of trade. Exactly same is reflected in this diagram. Is that clear to you? Yes, sir. So, friends, a tool or is a concept which is explained by using tool called as offer curve. Offer curves are also called as a reciprocal demand curve. See, offer by country A here is nothing but demand by country B. Hai na? जो एक्सपोर्ट यहां से हो रहा है उसका ही तो इंपोर्ट यहां से हो रहा है ना सो डिमांड फॉर एक्स डिमांड फॉर एक्स इज फ्रॉम कंट्री वाई सो ऑफर कर्व ऑफ कंट्री ए इज नथिंग बट डिमांड कर्व बाय कंट्री बी एंड ऑफर कर्व बाय कंट्री बी इज नथिंग बट द डिमांड बाय कंट्री ए so offer curve is also known as reciprocal demand curve. Bracket mein mein yaha par likh raha ho. It is nothing but reciprocal demand curve. Ye poochha ja sakta hai exam mein. Offer curve is nothing but reciprocal demand curve. Okay. So I have shown you how the offer curve functions for equilibrium purpose we have shown it on the 45 degree line agar wo yaha par aata hai to country a ke liye favorable hoga agar wo yaha par aata hai to country b ke liye favorable hoga so terms of trade can be favorable it can be unfavorable also now moving forward let us go here and try to understand the types of terms of trade types of terms of trade there are seven different types of terms of trade. Okay. What is terms of trade? It is purely and very clearly mentioned here in uh, first formula that is TOT is index of export prices divided by index of import prices multiplied by 100. Kuch doubt hai iske mein? No, sir. So TOT. No, sir. 
इज पी एक्स अपॉन पी एम मल्टीप्लाइड बाई हंड्रेड तो पी एक्स क्या है इट इज इंडेक्स ऑफ एक्सपोर्ट प्राइसेस पी एम क्या है इंडेक्स ऑफ इंपोर्ट प्राइसेस एम स्टैंड फॉर इंपोर्ट एंड एक्स स्टैंड फॉर एक्सपोर्ट देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रेड जेकअप वाइनर एंड मियर दे हैव गिवन फॉलोइंग सेवन टाइप्स ऑफ टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रेड अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट इज नेट बार्टर टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रेड और कमोडिटी टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रेड दोनों एक ही है अंडरस्टैंड दे आर कॉल्ड एज नेट बार्टर टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रेड और कमोडिटी टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रेड सेकेंड इज ग्रॉस बार्टर टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रेड थर्ड इज इनकम टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रेड फोर्थ इज सिंगल फैक्टरल टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रेड फिफ्थ इज डबल फैक्टरल टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रेड Sixth is a real cost terms of trade, and seventh is a utility terms of trade. So, this ko dhyan me kaise rakhe? Iska thoda notation banane ka. What I used to do when I was student, I used to write down somewhere NBTT, GBTT, ITT, SFTT, DFTT, RCTT, UTT. so you abbreviate the things make it small make it simple keep it in your brain and use it when the exam comes i repeat nbtt net barter terms of trade gbtt gross barter terms of trade itt income terms of trade sftt single factorial terms of trade dftt double factorial terms of trade rctt real cost terms of trade And UTT utility terms of trade. So these are the different types of terms of trade. Or इसे हमको पढ़ना है, इसे हमको देखना है. Starting with the first one, that is net barter terms of trade. Is it visible to you? Yes, sir. Net barter terms of trade is also known. as a commodity terms of trade understand it is also known as a commodity terms of trade so nbtt is the ratio between the price of a country's export goods and import goods so symbolically it is expressed as tc why tc tc is a commodity terms of trade tc Is a commodity. C is a commodity. T is a terms of trade. It is P X upon P M. जो अभी तक हम देख रहे हैं, it is basically N B T T, net barter terms of trade, or commodity terms of trade. How it is expressed? P X upon P M into hundred, where T C stands for the commodity terms of trade, P stands for the price. Subscript X for export and Y for import. Is that clear, friends? Yes. Any doubt? No, sir. आगे चलते हैं, दूसरा वाला देखते हैं, and that is called as gross barter terms of trade, GBTT. Okay, GBTT का मतलब क्या है? ग्रॉस बार्टर टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रेड अभी इसको थोड़ा समझना है सिंगल सॉरी नेक्स्ट बार्टर टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रेड हमने देखा नाउ सी टॉसिक अमेरिकन इकोनॉमिस्ट हु इंट्रोड्यूस द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑल्सो इंट्रोड्यूस्ड जीबीटीटी to correct the commodity or net barter terms of trade for unilateral transactions or export or imports the gross barter terms of trade is the ratio of physical quantity of imports to physical quantity of export i repeat 
one more tool we will use gross barter terms of trade one minute ah gross barter it's not enabled gross barter terms of trade is the ratio of physical quantity of imports to physical quantity of exports not taking anyway लिखा है इट इज द रेशियो ऑफ फिजिकल क्वांटिटी ऑफ एक्सपोर्ट टू द फिजिकल क्वांटिटी ऑफ इंपोर्ट मतलब क्या है हमने पहले टी सी लिखा था नाउ आई एम राइट टी टी क्रॉस बार्टर टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रेड इज क्वांटिटी ऑफ import okay divided by quantity of export okay quantity of import divided by quantity of export so qm divided by qx तो इसमें आपको डिफरेंस दिखाई दे रहा है यस यस सर दो मिनट में कॉल करो लेक्चर खत्म हो रहा है सो इन अर्लियर स्लाइड हमने देखा है क्या पी एक्स अपॉन पी एम तो पी क्या है प्राइस इंडेक्स है हियर वी आर नॉट टेकिंग प्राइस इंडेक्स बट वी आर टेकिंग हियर फिजिकल क्वांटिटी सो फिजिकल क्वांटिटी of goods imported divided by physical quantity of goods exported so qm and qx are the volume of or volume index numbers of imports and exports respectively so it is sorry qm ka matlab hai qm and qx are volume index of imports and exports respectively so dear students we have to keep that in mind 
So let us have a relook and go to the beginning what we have done so far in today's lecture. I have told you that, uh, you know, we have, to, we have to start from the beginning and uh, meaning we have done where I have told you it's a relative price of exports in terms of imports. Definition I told you it's a ratio of export price to the import price, Px by Pn. And it shows that the import, go import goods and country or economy can purchase per unit of export goods. So for many goods, it is price indices for exported and imported goods. Brief history, I told you three names, Frank Tosic, 1927, Robert Torres and J.S. Mill, that is John Stuart Mill in 1944. Then I told you the tool, offer curve, in order to understand how offer of country A becomes the reciprocal demand by country B and how offer B becomes reciprocal demand in country A. Then I draw one diagram, drew one diagram and told you like how offer curve can become uh, equilibrium offer curve or equilibrium terms of trade on 45 degree line it becomes favorable to country a here and favorable to country b over here and then i introduced seven types of terms of trade however we have done with two types of terms of trade that is net barter terms of trade and gross barter terms of trade net barter terms of trade is also known as a commodity terms of trade that is px by pm and gross barter terms of trade is uh, you know, like volume index of physical quantity of imports and physical quantity of exports used in the foreign trade. So uh, that's it for the day. If you have any doubt, you can ask. Otherwise, uh, we will stop over here. The presentation is very much available in, in your class. Any questions? No, sir. No, sir. Will we stop then? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, and one thing I told you in the last lecture, mein, I don't remember exactly, ki we have a program in association with the uh, National Commodity Derivatives Index, NCDEX. Do you have registered for that? नहीं सर नो सर प्रोग्राम इज ऑन एक मिनट में दिखाता हूं आपको सर दैट इज कंपलसरी फॉर ऑल दो बजे है कंपलसरी की बात नहीं है लेकिन आपको बहुत सारा फायदा हो सकता है उसमें ऑनलाइन है ना आपको किधर जाना नहीं उसके लिए सो बट वी हैव टेक्नो सो लेक्चर्स एट 2 no, if you if you can, it is not compulsory. If you can, you can, you can join. Okay. 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 So, I share your class. Then, you have already done it in the WhatsApp group. Then, you have to join in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. 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 Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye.